Hey community, today I'm going to show you how to use an interface and a MIDI controller with Prime. So if I have Prime open on my iPad and I want to use an interface with it, I'm going to need this Apple adapter. It's the lightning to USB adapter. I'll plug it into my iPad and then I'll plug my interface into the USB slot on the adapter. Now you'll see in Prime that my outs button is lit up. I'll press it and I can change which channels I'm sending my tracks to on track rig. This gives my sound engineer a lot more control with the tracks so you can actually mix them from the soundboard. So once I'm done with that, I'll click outs and that'll save. So now if I want to use my MIDI controller with Prime and track rig, I can't plug in the USB cord because there's only one slot on the adapter. But what's great about TrackRig is there's a built-in USB hub on the back with four additional USB slots. So I'm going to plug my USB cord into my Looptimus Mini and then take the USB cord, plug it into the hub on TrackRig. Then if we go back into Prime, you'll see that the MIDI button is also lit up. So let's hit that. And anything with a white box in Prime, we can map to the Looptimus Mini. So if I want to map play, I can hit play there and then button one on the Looptimus Mini. If I want to map stop, I'll click stop and then press button two. And then let's map repeat to our third button. Click repeat and press button three on the Looptimus Mini. We'll hit MIDI to save these and now we are all set up. TrackRig makes it easy for you to use an interface and a MIDI controller with Prime. Order yours today on trackrig.com.